With pictures of his wife and kids as inspiration, Jim Chalmers moment of truth is just 48 hours away. This will be a family friendly budget which recognises that our pressures on the economy come from around the world but they're felt around the kitchen table. A fine sentiment but hard to deliver when inflation is so painfully high. On the current Treasury forecast inflation will persist for longer than we'd like. Expected to peak at 7.75% in December, inflation will average five and three quarters over the current financial year and three and a half percent the following year. Wages growth, which is beginning to happen in our economy, uh, will cross over with inflation sometime, we think, the year after next. But that effectively means that Australian workers will be going backwards for an another two years, doesn't it? We've been upfront uh, about what's happening with real wages. Labor's promise to lift wages was a big part of its election campaign earlier this year, as was tackling cost of living pressure. And while Tuesday's budget will forecast a massive $33 billion increase in inflation-linked welfare payments over the next four years, two-thirds in age pension and job seeker payments, there won't be relief beyond Labor's existing pledges on cheaper childcare and medicines and fee-free TAFE. But our responsibility when we've got lots of inflation is not to spray money around in an indiscriminate or un untargeted way because that would make our inflation problem worse. The opposition having somewhat of an each way bet. You've got to be cautious not to have spending proposals that fuel additional inflation. It just seems that, uh, that this government doesn't have a plan uh, to deal with cost of living pressures. One awkward feature of Jim Chalmers' budget story on Tuesday will be explaining why a $100 billion windfall from high commodity prices won't be used to ease cost of living pressure. Instead, the extra cash, caused in large part by the war in Ukraine, will be banked so inflation doesn't worsen. Whichever way you look at it, households and workers face at least a couple more years of pain. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.